Hey guys, I just want to um, go over my blood work results that I got between yesterday and today. I'm sorry that I sound very congested. I do have a cold that I picked up yesterday from the hospital. Fun stuff. So, um, <clears throat> yesterday everything was normal. I had a beta done just to make sure that I wasn't pregnant. And that came back at 0 0.6, so it was definitely negative. And then I also had um, my FSH tested, which came back as 5.18, again normal. Prolactin came back as 291.9, and on their scale, that's completely normal. Um, my LH was at 8.9. My estradiol was 311.1 which is slightly elevated, but as I'm taking estrogen tablets, that's completely normal. <coughs> Sorry. And then my TSH yesterday at the hospital was 2.90. Now, um, if they actually were that high, I would not be able to cycle until those levels went down at least to a 2.5. And the doctors prefer that they actually be between a 1 and a 2 with it being closer to the 1. So um, I did ask my doctor um, to rerun the TSH at his clinic. Now he uses a different system, but from what I understand, it's the exact same equivalent to each other. So we will go through those results in a second. Um, I also had my progesterone levels checked yesterday, and I definitely did ovulate, so I can't say for sure when I did ovulate, but I'm assuming it was around day 14, 15, and um, I should expect my period probably um, at the end of this week, so that's good. Um, Okay, so let me just pull up the results from Dr. Yagoop. So he, again, tested my FSH, LH, prolactin, and everything at his clinic was pretty much on par with the hospital. So that was good. My HBAGs were negative. My AMH is 3.6, which is quite high and basically says that I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. And um, I'll need to be watched very closely in regards to stimulating so that I don't overstim. Now, for his TSH levels, my levels is at a 1.71. So that's good. It's below 2. It's between 1 and 2. So we won't have to cancel my cycle. Now, because of the discrepancy between the clinic and the hospital, we will have to retest again before I cycle. However, Dr. Yagub's clinic is usually pretty much on par with what it's supposed to be doing. Its tests are more sensitive, of course, because it is a fertility clinic. So I don't think in that regard I have anything to worry about now. I will continue to take my thyroxine. This morning I took a double dose, so I can probably cut it down to 150 milligrams instead of 200 milligrams. So that's good. So basically everything's on par for all my hormone levels. Um, once my period actually starts, they will run my LH, my FSH, um, my TSH, the estradiol, the prolactin again to make sure that everything is still where it should be. So, as I said, we're expecting my period to show up maybe on Saturday or Sunday. But as I don't know when I ovulate it, it could be later in the week. But I definitely ovulate it. So, by the end of next week, I should definitely see my period. So, that's good. Keep your fingers crossed that things start on time. And um, we can get this ball rolling. Tomorrow, we will be picking up my central tie from the pharmacy and see how much that costs and I got to pick up I think it's 10 or something like that because you don't really need a lot of them because you don't start taking them until your follicles are 14 millimeters and then I usually trigger when my follicles are around a 20 millimeter point. 
Okay, so if you have any questions, please leave them below, or I will link again my Facebook group where you can feel free to join. Remember, when we get to 200 subscribers, we will be doing a little giveaway. So please click the big red button and have yourself a good day. Bye-bye.